Charles White, Afro-American artist of the Chicago Black Renaissance. Charles White was a major Afro-American artist of the Chicago Black Renaissance. Charles White was born in 1918 in Chicago. It was here that he learned about the racism and segregation that black people experienced for much of their lives. Charles White's father died before he was 10 years old. He was raised by his mother, who was a domestic worker. Charles himself began working at an early age. At the age of seven, Charles was out shining shoes to bring money to help his family. Charles White was a good student in elementary school, but in high school he was frequently truant. It was not that he was a bad student in high school, but instead of attending school, Charles would walk around the Art Institute of Chicago and the Cleveland Hall Branch Library on the South Side. It was at the Hall Branch Library that Charles White discovered Alan Lott, a great writer of the early 20th century. Charles White decided that he wanted to be more than just a, an ignorant person wasting their life. So he returned back to school and he finished high school. He graduated from Inglewood High School. Charles was a very good student and he was able to earn a scholarship to the Art Institute of Chicago. He was enrolled in a two-year program that he completed in only one year. After completing this program, he began to work as an artist. Sharon F. Patton in African American Art says that White was a social realist. In other words, White tried to show in his art how people lived and how people worked. Charles once wrote that his art was a manifestation of how he saw life and what a social activist should do. Charles wrote, Paint is the only weapon that I have with which to fight what I resent. If I could write, I would write about it. If I could talk, I would talk about it. Since I paint, I must paint about it. And you can bet that Charles White did paint about it. One of the most famous uh, paintings of Charles White is The Five Great American Negroes, a painting he did in 1939-1940, which is now in the collection of the Howard University Gallery of Art, Washington, D.C. In this painting, we see five great personages. On the left-hand corner, we see Char Journa Truth leading the slaves to freedom. Behind the podium, we see Booker T. Washington, a very activist person at the turn of the century who encouraged black people to get an education and most importantly, learn a trade. Booker T. Washington felt that if black men and women learned to trade, they would be able to be self-sufficient, have the money and wherewithal to be successful in life and lead their people towards freedom. Behind Booker T. Washington, we see Frederick Douglass. And in Frederick Douglass's arms, he's holding a black man that represents a slave, and that slave is crying. And what Frederick Douglass is doing is saying, we have to try to help all people. We have to go and we have to bring about freedom, the freedom for black people. And then finally, we see Carver over his microscope. Carver is very important because what he did is that he was able to find many uses of the peanut. And this made it possible for black farmers to make more money off of their produce and to be able to be successful. Truly, Five Great American Negroes is a wonderful painting. Another important painting of White is Charles White's is Charles White's a painting called Harvest Talk. Harvest Talk was done in 1953. In Harvest Talk, we see two men working or sharpening their uh, their tools. These men appear to be looking in their faces as if they are very satisfied with what they've accomplished. 
In this painting, we see their hands, and the hands are most important in all of Charles White's paintings because it's in these hands that Charles White gives us the impression that if you work hard and if you really try, you can become successful. And I think he was trying to tell us that it's in your hands if you as an individual want to grow, if you as an individual want to make and make something successful about life. Charles White, in regards to the uh, Harvest Talk, which he did in 1953, and I believe now is in the uh, Art Institute of Chicago, said, if I've only painted one pe picture in my entire life, I see my totality of 300 years of history of black people through one little fraction of family, my family. I don't try to record it, but use it symbolically to make a broad universal statement about the search for dignity, the history of humanity. White is a very important artist, and this is White that we can see some of the representation of how people lived during the uh, Black Renaissance in Chicago, and also how they lived after the war. Charles White died in 1978. Charles White's art is found in over 100 institutions around the world. He is best known for his art depicting the Afro-American experience and his murals. Charles White, a great artist of the Black Renaissance in Chicago.